Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you. Um, well, if you remember in my last video, I showed you a busted up mercury that a guy had dropped. He was attempting to load it from a dock onto a fishing vessel tender. Can you see the transom bracket? Can you see what he did? He broke did it. So, woo, we're going down here. See, it's all broke did. Smush it did. Smush it did. He did a good job. Says he dropped the boat from a sling while trying to load it onto a barge. All right, we are steadily carrying on with the 40 Mercury with the busted up transoms. You can see I got the transom hanging down really low. Um, and so it looks like tomorrow I'll get it up on the table and commence to pull the lower unit and commence to pull the power head because I'm going to have to remove both of those to get to the to get where I can slide the new transom pieces that were all broke back on there at least that's the way it looks oh there they are these are the ones that I took off. This is what's left of his broken one. That was all that was left of it. Here's the piece that I took off of the 35. Here's the other two pieces. And here's the rest of them. So, this fits up against the motor. Those fit in there like so and hold everything together but the problem at hand is I've got to get that off so that I can slide the new piece up from the bottom and so forth um, it'll make more sense as I go at it I think and so I've already taken the VRO off of it and everything and moved all the wires, fuel connections and things out of my way. So next is to pull the power head, well the lower cowling and then the power head, then hopefully I can unbolt that rod that runs down through everything. So that's where we're going. I'll be back. <laughs>
now I can get that broke did thing replaced because now the shift rod is out of it and it will come off here's the uh, midsection I got it all put back together as best I could he's still gonna have a little damage right there but it, it shouldn't hurt anything okay the old Merc is all buttoned back together or not all I still got all the uh, you can see the gas quick connect I still need to do that and a couple of wires the VRO tank needs to be put back on but she's coming right along and you can see all the new transom hardware right down in there It's all been put back together. All the broke did is out of there. Um, not a whole lot of filming because all I was really doing is unbolting things and bolting things back. So that's about all there was to the video. Um, yeah, so I mean, you just, I pulled it apart, replaced the broken pieces, put it back together. That's really all I had going. So it was kind of boring but I had to pull it all to pieces in three pieces so that I could get and I did not have to take off the uh, transom bracket I was able to just I took a uh, log splitting wedge and just tapped in there until it kicked it out far enough for me to put that broken piece on the bottom uh, the bottom transom coupler there so I didn't have to pull off the whole transom bracket, but I did have to pull the power head and stuff so I could get things loose enough to where I could get it all back in there. But just a bunch of bolts. I'll be back. Well, old Fret, he got to see all the action today. I spent a lot of time talking with old Fret today. Because there was times when I was banging on this old Mercury that uh, I was just about in the same kind of grumpy mood that Fret's always in. Yep, spent the whole day with him. He was mumbling to himself, calling me names, all the noise I was making. Quit banging on that outboard. Making all that racket. That's the only thing he would say, stuff like that. Yep. Fret, the one-eyed, pissed-off porch frog. Okay, this is what's left of this Mercury donor motor that I took those brackets and this piece that goes in here. Um, 
this mercury has saved or put back in service three outboards that I know of. I had one in here uh, that was on a John boat that had a bad lower unit. Um, that's where the lower unit went. Then I had another one um, I can't remember what he needed on it, but it was, what the heck was that other one? I can't remember what it was I took off of here for that other one, but that Mercury is the third one to be saved by that mercury and you would think well now you'll take it to the scrap people oh no 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 you gotta be kidding there's so much good on there I'll point some of it out these I find are broken all the time. The starter bracket, this Mercury never even had electric start, but it's got the starter bracket. The fuel pump. Um, this whole tiller transom setup. It's got the kill switches on it. Um, just, just good stuff. Yeah, that whole old tiller shifter all kind of good stuff on there so this will not be going to the scrap heap this will be I'll button it together um, just by putting a, a long bolt or rod or something down through there just so I can hang it back up because um, this <laughs> power head is actually good I got the spark plugs out of it right now but I'm gonna put some back in there because this this power head ran it was a bunch of other stuff that was busted on it that made me decide to uh, use it as a donor motor but the power head itself I'll stick a rag spray some tri-flow up in there stick a rag in there get the plugs I'll do this the same thing I'll fog the cylinder and uh, get a couple plugs and put in there so and then I'll rig up some kind of way to uh, to hang it up upright and then I'll put a cowling of some kind just draped over it to keep it a little bit out of the weather but there's uh, just too many good parts and too few mercuries around here I have the carb and everything already off it's labeled and uh, in my carb bin so yeah and I, I even have all the you know the cowling front bracket and all that top stuff that goes I have all that to this motor yet because um, well just like just like the one in the background oh that's that's kind of a good shot there huh if you're crazy about them mercuries yeah so this mercury will not be going to the scrap heap too many good things so I want to hang on to all those pieces while I can yeah but I'm gonna have to take a little bit of a break in the action tomorrow cuz I've got that yeah so but uh, yeah I just wanted to show you what's left of that donor motor because uh, I've been steadily using parts off of this thing and so far I've been lucky enough that the parts people have needed oh I remember now what it was off that other one I took it out of here it was uh, part of the shift uh, um, it was all this upright stuff for the shift and stuff. That's what it was. It was a bunch of linkage stuff I took off of here. 
So, yeah. She's looking kind of skinny, but there's still a lot of good stuff in that thing. Too many good parts. I'll be back. Okay, so we got all the busted pieces off, and basically, um, I didn't film too much of the reverse um, putting it back together because it's just reverse. You understand. But uh, got her mostly back together, just the peripherals, the gas hoses, the VR hoses, the wires, and other things, I suppose. So just a few little things, and that one will be done, and then I'll probably start on the Yamaha, which I said I was going to start on and didn't start on because, I don't know why, because, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll start on the Yamaha, um, I'll probably do two, uh, at, kind of at the same time, because I'm going to have to do a lot of washing and so forth on this Yamaha 40 with the triplets and clean the carbs and all that and so while I'm doing that I'll probably be taking apart the busted up 30 horsepower Johnson that the guy who brought the Merc 40 uh, it was in the boat when they dropped the boat so busted that all up so I'll probably do the two of them at the same time and you know I'm going to video it now so um, that's going to be a wrap on this one. I want to thank you for watching, and if you would, please hit that subscribe button and come along with us. We'll see you next time. More vids are coming on Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass.